So from a leveraged time perspective, so how do you actually leverage your time? Again, this is a hour and a half talk, but I'm going to condense it down into an exercise that we're going to be doing together. So you get something valuable as opposed to just get a TED talk, a lecture, and then nothing changes in your business. So whatever, whatever, whatever point you are in your career, whether you're just starting out, whether you're someone that's doing 10 transactions, 15 transactions a year and looking to get to 20, or if you're already doing 50 transactions plus, like uh, I see a few agents that are doing that already. So that's awesome. That are looking to get to those triple digits a year. We need to, we need to buy our time back more than we need money. I know it sounds a little bit weird, but you need a time, you need to buy your time back more than you need money if you're doing that type of uh, volume. So what I want to share with you today is just a very simple strategy that you can implement in your business right now, which is finding time in your day that you can leverage. So what this looks like is the very simple exercise is thinking back through what you do on Mondays, what you do on Tuesdays, what you do on Wednesdays, what you do on every part of the day, or if your day is pretty much the same, then it doesn't matter what day it is. But if you're structured in a way to where you do certain things on Mondays, I'll give you an example. If you are someone that checks in with your clients religiously on Mondays, like that's something that we do here personally, then find a different way to do that check-in without it taking so much time. So I'll give you an example. Previously, it was a call to all the clients that we had under contract or about to get under contract or were just out of contract. They would get a call religiously every single Monday. We stopped doing that because we wanted to buy our time back a little bit more. And what we ended up doing was just shooting some brief video, brief video messages and just sending those out. Because at one point, we were just spending more time on the phones and I understand that there's an element of relationship building and continuing to do that, but it was almost to the point we, we were having conversations with our clients that there just wasn't that much to talk about. It kind of, kind of, kind of got awkward by nature. I am an um, an introvert, so I'm not going to create and manufacture conversations out of thin air. <laughs> and some people are way more versed at that than I am. So it was just video messages that would go out giving them a, a quick status update. And we would have our admin staff send out the, the movements. Of, we have a timeline of, um, and we've shared this before, but we have a timeline in Excel sheet and also in the emails that we send out of where they are in their buying journey or their sell, selling journey. So what I want to you know, pull out from that is the fact that we could easily get on the phones and spend another three to five hours a Monday on doing that. But by doing it this way of just sending out those videos, it still presents incredibly well. The information still continues to go out. But for us, it took us 30 minutes at most to do it that way now. And that's a principle that we started adopting years ago. Now it's continued to go forward to present day, but it's something that came directly from analyzing where is our time going and how can we provide either a better service or how can we actually supplement what we're doing with something a little bit better. And in our, our mind, this is actually a little bit better because on Mondays, regardless of who your client is, some clients you can't even get a hold of on Mondays, right? So now this is just an example of leveraging, right? So whatever you happen to do, and we'll go through a quick exercise, but whatever you happen to do throughout the day, you have the option of continuing doing what you're doing. So meaning make no change, stop doing it or automating it or hiring it out. Those are really the four options that you have. So you keep doing what you're doing already. So if you are doing, if you find yourself sending the same email to all the leads that come in, um, let's just say you are running Facebook ads, you have the option of continuing sending out your emails very manually. As soon as a lead comes in, you log into Facebook market, I'm sorry, Facebook ads manager, get the email and then send it out manually. You can keep doing that all day long. You have the option of stop doing that, aka I don't suggest it, but stop following up. Or you have the option of automating it, 
which is actually the right answer in my opinion. Um, doing an integration between Zapier and your CRM or email autoresponder to where that gets automated and you no longer have to spend 15 minutes at a time sending out an email that could have been done instantly like that. And it would have cost you probably about $10 a month to automate it. Or you have the option of hiring it out for somebody else to do it. Right. So it is making sense so far. We're going to get into our, we're going to get into our exercise. I have a lot, like I have a huge buildup about 30 minutes worth before I get to this exercise, but I wanted to kind of condense it here because of the time constraint that we have. But when it comes to leveraging your time, I want us to find something throughout our day. And that's what our exercise is going to be. I want us to find something throughout our day that we either continue doing, which in reality, I, I don't want that answer in our calls today, or stop doing altogether, automating it or hiring it out. Right? So for our exercise, I want you to think back through the previous week, what is it, what is something that you continue to do that just is very monotonous that you have an inkling, you have a hunch that you probably shouldn't be doing, right? So either, again, you can stop doing it, you can automate it, or you could hire it out. I'll give you some examples to, to get going, but that's going to be our exercise for today. Think back to the past seven days. What is something that should not be done from by you that you can stop doing today, automating it or hiring it out? I'll give you one example, which is calendar appointments. So how many times have you been asked for 15 minutes of your time? How many times have you tried to arrange a call between one of your clients um, or all of your clients? And you just go back and forth via text, you go back and forth via email, you go back and forth trying to find an ideal time and window to actually make the conversation happen. All of that can be fixed by a simple going to Calendly.com, which is free to use. And you can use any other scheduling software out there, creating a calendar for yourself where you allocate what days and times you're willing to get on the phone or you're willing to get on Zoom or you're willing to meet somebody physically and sending that calendar out to your clients. That in and of itself is going to save you hundreds of hours every single year, possibly in the thousands, depending on how many clients you have. So that simple nuance, again, we're, we're making some slight changes in order to have some massive growth. Right. So the act of doing calendar scheduling or scheduling appointments or scheduling a time to call Zoom or meet with somebody, you have the option of continuing doing what you're doing already, which is texting back and forth. You have the option of stop meeting people. We know that that's not obviously you can't stop doing that or else you're out of business. You have the option of automating it, which is what I'm suggesting here with Calendly, which is going to cost you. If you go down the free version, there's some things that you can do. If you if you pay for the premium, I think it's like 10 to 12 bucks. I don't remember how much we're paying, but that's the automation. Or you hire either a personal assistant, a virtual assistant, or whomever to manage your calendar. That's going to be a little bit more expensive. So when you start finding some of these solutions, but I'll shut up for about 60 seconds. Think back for the fast seven days. What needs to change? I'll leave it at that because I, I have to do this exercise as well. And if you feel comfortable, feel free to drop it in the chat as you um, have an epiphany. 